So people are always asking me, how do you stay so organized? I think the principle of keeping anything organized is to have a home for something to go. If you don't have a home for something, whether it be a hammer, a box of nails, or a bench cookie to go, then it's just gonna collect either on the floor, on a surface, or be tossed into a drawer. And that's completely inefficient. So I put a lot of effort into making custom homes for things around my shop. And I've been having a few different items collect in my shop that don't have a home. So in this video, I'm gonna be making dedicated holders for several different things. Even if you don't have the same things to store in your own shop, maybe you can take the idea or the concept behind the video and apply it to the, to the things that you do need to store in your own shop. Since most of the items that I'm looking to store are pretty slim, I looked at the space that is right underneath this folding workbench. Right now it's completely wasted. And so I took a few measurements and it looks like I might be able to do something with it. I took the two deepest things to do a test fit and they look like they slide in and out just fine. So I ended up designing something that will slide behind this folding workbench so that I can utilize the space. So I grabbed some RIP 2x4s that I've been storing that are left over from a previous project and decided to make these into rails. I took them to my table saw and cut in a rabbit along one of the edges on both. I didn't feel like putting in my dado stack so I would make one pass, move the fence over, and then make another. Making sure to run both of the rails through before moving the fence over. I kept a quarter inch piece of scrap on hand just so I could test the fit before moving on. I took the top rail to install it first, making sure that the rabbit was facing down and closest to the wall. I found the studs and then I used a countersink bit first and then drove them in with screws. For the portion that will actually be sliding, I'm using a piece of quarter inch plywood left over from a previous project. I cut it to size and then I decided to cut in a handle before actually putting it onto the rails. I did this with using a Forstner bit to make two holes and then a jigsaw to make two straight lines. Next, I grabbed the bottom rail and placed a spacer underneath so it would not be sitting on my floor. And then I simply attached it to the studs. So far, so good. Now that I knew that the concept would work, I started looking around my shop figuring out what else I could store on this. I tried to pick items that weren't used that often and also had a low profile. And then I just played around with the placement of the different items. Now to actually attach these items, it's nothing fancy. I literally went to my scrap bin and pulled out uh, pieces that I thought would work. Like these triangle pieces, I just simply glued them in place and then used some cans to weight them down. I did come back and end up nailing on a small rectangle onto the backside of each one just so they wouldn't want to fall backwards off the triangle. But this ended up working out great. For the container that holds all the T-Track accessories, I used a folding ruler to get a location on the top of the surface and then just transferred that mark to the underside so that I could attach it in from the back. I went ahead and did a test fit on the rails just to make sure that my measurements were correct and that it was not gonna interfere with the workbench whenever it was folded down. And it didn't, it worked out perfect. So I moved forward with hanging the other items. And for the package things, I just simply ran a screw in to hang them off of. So again, nothing fancy. Whoop whoop, <laughs> happy dance. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do is place this thickness planner cart over on the left-hand side of that workbench. And then I can either slide the storage out slightly until I can grab what I need, or I can simply move the planner cart a little bit in order to fully slide it out. Now, of course, organizing can be way simpler than that. If something comes in a nice case, I sometimes just throw a screw up on the wall and hang it. Or for these glue applicators, I just bought a pegboard attachment, threw on my pegboard, and now I have a dedicated spot for these brushes to go. Okay, next I moved on to making a dispenser for my bench cookies. I'm making it from three inch PVC that I already had. Now I need a slot at the bottom so that I can grab one cookie at a time. To make this slot, I ended up raking up something at the miter saw just to make cutting it a little easier. And I only cut about halfway through on it. Then I took it over to my super jaws and locked them in place so that I can use a hacksaw to finish making this cut. I traced the profile of the bottom on a quarter inch piece of wood, used my bandsaw to cut it out. Then I used some all purpose adhesive and a few screws to attach it to the bottom of the PVC. To actually attach it to the wall, I cut some U-shapes out of wood and then attached them directly to my wall. Where then I used the all-purpose adhesive to grab onto the PVC. And I did use clamps just while that glue set up. But once it was dry, it worked just as it should. I can grab the cookies from the bottom and then whenever I'm done, I place them back into the top. 
An even simpler one is the platform for the bench cookie attachments. I drilled a hole in the center and then grabbed a scrap and cut a 45 degree angle on it. I had to play with the height some to get the attachments touching the platform, but also resting squarely on the point. And even though this is simple, it does exactly what I need it to do. So now I can grab however many bench cookies I need and attachments. All right, onto the T-Track table accessories. I first used my router with the edge guide on it to cut a three quarter inch dado. You could of course use a table saw if you don't have a router. Then I grabbed a T-table track and placed the accessories on the track so I could figure out how long I needed it. I didn't wanna store all of the accessories on one track because I didn't wanna to have to remove a whole bunch of accessories to get to the one I needed. After I cut the track to size, I also cut the piece of wood with the dado to size. Then I first used a self-centering bit to pre-drill the holes and then attach the track to the wood using a few screws. And it's really as simple as that. I took the track over to my wall and figured out the placement on where I wanted it, then used two screws to attach it. Then I just repeated this for the other accessories that I have. So the shop is a little bit more organized, which of course puts me in a great mood. I hope that from the video you were able to get some motivation in order to maybe organize your own shop and maybe even some good ideas on how to do it. Now, if you have any questions on anything that I used in the video, then please check the description. I have left you links, although most of them can be found at Rockler because Rockler is a sponsor of my channel. And of course, thank you Rockler for supporting my channel. Um, I think that's it. So leave me your comments if you have any, and I will see you next time.